Are you tired of feeling like you're not getting enough done in order for yourself to become successful? Well, today I'm going to give you the top three things that you can do to maximize your productivity at work. Hey, it's Yaziah, your success consultant. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get as many results as you can as quickly as possible. Because here's the simple reality. We're living in a world with over 7 billion people. So if you want to be able to succeed, you're going to have to be able to outperform the crowd. You're going to have to be able to stand out, especially as a black man. So if you want to do that, you've got to get down these three things. Number one, capture. Capture, capture, capture. When it comes to you and how you view your time management, you have to be able to understand everything that's on your plate because there's a big difference between being busy versus being productive. See, busy people, they just take whatever comes to them. They just wake up and they just go off and do whatever comes to mind. If somebody calls them, they stop, they take the call. If somebody sends them an email, they stop what they're doing, they take the email. Whatever is right in front of them is what they do. But that's not the most productive thing. Oftentimes, whatever jumps out in front of us is a temptation. It ain't the most productive thing. And so what you got to be able to do is you have to be able to take a moment, not give in to the distraction and capture everything as it comes. So let's say that right now you have about 10 different things on your plate. Don't keep it all in your mind because your mind is not really meant to retain everything that's going on. Your mind is meant for you to focus on what you need to be focused on. So what you want to do is you want to have a capturing system. Now, maybe you might use a, a notepad. Myself, I like using digital tools like Evernote. What you want to be able to do is you want to be able to have a system in place where you just take notes. I'm not going to get any advanced with this. All this is is you having things that you know that you need to do. And instead of it keeping it filed in your head, you're writing it down. Have you ever been to the grocery store and you don't go with a list and you try to keep it all in your head? but then you get this thing and you get this thing, but then you forget the other thing. And now as soon as you get home, you remember and you're like, oh dang, now I gotta go back to the grocery store. And now you're finding yourself making two or three different trips, right? That's very unproductive. You're wasting a lot of time and time is money. And so what you wanna be able to do is you got to be able to have a good capture system. Now for me, myself personally, this is what I instruct my clients to do that I work with. I have a capture system in place that allows me to be able to record everything that's going on digitally as well as on mobile devices. Because a lot of times you might be on the go, we're living in a mobile world, you might not always have a pen and a pad with you. If you want to have that, that's fine. But I recommend using a device that allows you to be able to sync your notes on your phone, okay? The whole point of this is you got to be able to capture. You have to be able to capture, to get everything out of your head and understand what is the best opportunity. Because if you're not capturing, you don't know what the best opportunity is. So that leads me to the second point. Now that you have every single thing written down and whenever something just comes to mind, don't keep it in here because it's gonna clog your brain. It's gonna take up memory. It's gonna take up real estate in your brain. Brain dump. Clear everything from your mind and just keep your mind open and focused. It's gonna make you a lot less stress. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Anytime that I have ever done this myself or I've done any of my clients, I've told them how to do it, it's always made things a lot less stressful because when you keep everything up here, that's when you stretch yourself out, you get burnt out and you just be like, to hell with it. I'm not gonna do nothing. <laughs> have you ever felt like that? So what I want you to do is now that you've captured everything and you have a capture system in place, the next thing for you to do is to analyze. OK, the reason why this is important and you're saying, well, Uzziah, well, why don't I just get straight to work? Think about what I just told you when it comes to capturing. You don't want to just get straight to work because you got to understand first, what is your best opportunity? What is the most important thing? What's going to give you the biggest return on your investment out of all of the things that's on your plate. So you need to take time now that you've captured everything, you need to be able to analyze the list. 
So let's say that you've done your brain dump and maybe there's 20 things that come to mind, five things that come to mind, 10 things that come to mind. Now what you gotta be able to do is you gotta be able to take a step back and focus. See, what happens is most people, they like to capture and analyze all at once. They like to say, okay, well, this just came to mind. Let me go off and now do it. No, don't do that. Take one moment to capture, take this moment to analyze. You're looking at the list and saying, okay, well, what's going to give me the biggest impact right now? What's the top thing? What do I have the most time to be able to do right now because maybe you might have two or three things to do, but you might only have five to 10 minutes and one of your tasks might take you longer than five to 10 minutes, maybe two. So you gotta think about, okay, well, what do I have the time to do right now? Then the third thing that you really need to think about is, okay, well, what do I have the most energy to do? You gotta think about that because when it comes to you having resources, the top three resources that you're gonna be able to have in your life, time, money, energy, plain and simple. And so you wanna start thinking about, okay, what do I have not only the time to do, what do I have the energy to do? What makes the most sense for me to do right now? I'm trying to turn y'all into chess players. A chess player thinks five to 10 steps ahead, five to 10 moves. And you don't just wanna make any move not knowing that there's a better move that you could have made if you had just taken the time to analyze. Now that you've analyzed, here's the next thing that I want you to do. I want you to eliminate. Listen to me good, brothers. I want you to eliminate because productivity and success is not about doing everything. I don't care what you've been told. I know a lot of y'all, you've been told hustle and grind, but you, got, you wanna work smarter, not harder. You wanna be able to hustle smart. It's a lot of people out in the world right now that is hustling. It's a lot of people out in the world right now that's working hard. But if you wanna be able to separate yourself from them and become one of the top guys, one of the key performers, what you wanna be able to do is, you wanna take the time to eliminate 80% of what you're doing in your day-to-day -day schedule. Because I'm gonna tell you this right now, 80% of all of the things that you're doing right now in your life, is not producing you no results. I'm gonna tell you about how this uh, actually comes to life for me personally. So for me, I do a lot of different things. I try to take on a lot of different projects. I like to have my hand in this, my hand in that, and my hand in that. And at some point I had to come to the realization that I was being a jack of all trades. I was doing so many different things, but I wasn't doing any one thing well. And when I was doing that, I was finding myself stressed out. I was finding myself overworked. You know, one minute I'm running a business. Another minute I'm juggling responsibilities at the house. Another minute I'm uh, taking care of work in this area and in this area and with this group and with that group. What you wanna be able to do is you wanna be able to look at the entire list of what it is that you have on your schedule and you wanna be able to eliminate 80% of the things because it's not producing you the most results. This all goes back to the Pareto Principle. The Pareto Principle is 80% of all of your results, things that's gonna take you to the next level, is only going to come by 20% of your work. So what you gotta do from the time that you're analyzing and eliminating is, you gotta be able to understand, well, what's that 20%? What 20% of things is really taking me to the next level? What 20% of things is actually getting the job done and moving the needle? Because you don't want to live your life on a treadmill. You don't want to wake up every single day and today looks like yesterday, tomorrow looks like today. No, you want to make every day better than your last. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that is to focus on the things that are giving you the most results. Don't try to do everything. I know you want to do a million different things, but when you study successful people, what you'll come to find is that successful people, they focus obsessively over just a few things and they dump every other thing off their plate. Because when you eliminate everything else off your plate, that's gonna give you more time to focus on the things that matter.
that's gonna give you more time to focus on the next level. Right now, I know you're watching this video and you're sitting up saying, man, I have the next big idea that I wanna work on. I have the next big project. I already know how I wanna move forward, but I don't have the time to do it. I'm too busy doing this. I'm too busy doing that. I'm too busy with uh, this responsibility and that responsibility. And all those responsibilities are not getting you results. So this is really one of the most important steps. And the last step, which is gonna be a bonus step, is your ability to execute, okay? After you have captured, after you have analyzed, after you have eliminated the things that are on your plate, now you gotta actually get to work and execute. You gotta be able to make it happen. So if you wanna be able to really go through that and me show you step-by-step step how to execute properly on things, I want you right now to take a look at this link that I'm gonna put for you here on the screen. It's gonna give you the opportunity to go on a one week free experience where I'm gonna work with you on videos just like this, but a step above. I don't put this video anywhere else. And I'm actually going to show you how to be able to take things to the next level. I'm gonna show you how to be able to change the game. I'm gonna show you what you should be executing on because you might be saying to me, okay, you say that 80% of things I shouldn't be doing, how do I know what's the 80% and what's the 20% if I've never done this before? I'm gonna walk you through the process on how to be able to build your empire by executing and focusing on the right things. Think about this. Before I was 30 years old, I became a real estate investor. I paid off $95,000 in student loan debt. I was a campus recruiting manager, uh, a best-selling author. I led a church. There were a lot of different things that I was able to do before I even reached age 30. And it wasn't because of the fact that I was smarter than everybody. It's because of the fact that I understood how to be more productive, how to execute. Execution is a skill. A lot of people be talking about good ideas, but how to execute is a totally different thing. So click the link right now to be able to get into that course because there's a lot of gems that I put in there I can't put in just this one video, okay? And it's gonna take you to the next level from where we are right now. So right now, I want you to leave me a comment below and I want you to tell me that you're gonna become more productive. Leave me a comment right now that says, I will be productive. I will outperform the crowd. I will stand out. Whatever it is, however it is that you wanna say it, leave me a comment and let me know. I will outperform the crowd. And if you outperform the crowd, I want you to let me know how. What is it that you're gonna do? How are you gonna take this video and actually go about putting things in place so you get a lot more things done? Once you can clear things off your plate, once you can understand what's giving you the biggest bang for your buck, that's when you're really gonna be able to move the needle. So make sure you leave that comment because it's very important. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to not only have a great career, I'm gonna show you how to live your life to the fullest while having a great career so you can have a well-balanced life. See you there.